Hello everybody, Michiel here from Slick About Gaming and today I wanted to show you a little trick how to cut your negative influence area of buildings and utilities in half very quickly. If you don't know what the negative influence area is, if you click on a building utility or utility, you will see a negative area in it that translates to just a circle or a dome around your building, in this case of 12 by 12 meters. Um, and for the transformer, which is the same as the uh, water treatment facility of 15 by 15 meters. Next to that, you see the scenery rating. The more scenery you add around this building, the more um, bonus you get for reducing the negative area of effect. Um, what you normally would do, let me just slide over to another part is, here we are, um, build a lot of scenery around it, you put in a building, bushes and trees, etc, etc, fences, whatnot, um, and if you click on this one, you have a 100% scenery rating, which gives you a 50% bonus, which reduces your negative area to... 8 meters, probably gonna be 7.5 if it's 15 meters in total. And you now see that you will have a less bigger area to uh, uh, that influence the uh, area around it negatively. Um, hope I say that correctly. So, what I went on doing is trying to find which tree or which bush or which plant give the best um, percentage of scenery rating um, for the amount you have to put in. And I found a very neat uh, trick. Um, I didn't find any consistent um, between the plants. Some bigger trees gave a less percentage rating than lower bushes. And um, I find a plant, I didn't check them all, maybe there are four, there are more, but the century plant, and it doesn't matter, let me just put it up here, uh, century uh, gives the biggest scenery, scenery percentage rating of them all. Uh, like I said, I didn't check all the plants because there are a lot of them, but if you put these little plants around them, um, like so, you will see that your scenery rating will rise quickly um, without very much um, effort or very much scenery to be added. So what I did is created a blueprint for myself. I will share this one uh, for everyone. But it, this is just, let me just put it in front. These are 20 small century plants just bundled together grouped together and then created the blueprint and as you can see it will give you 100 percent scenery rating which will give you the full 50 percent reduced negative area heat map if i press ctrl z to get it out again it will recalculate it and you will see it is as big as i apply it again calculate and you will see instantly half of the um, scenery rate of half of the negative area um, this also translates to uh, staff buildings um, if you see the fat surgery here on the heat map it gets quite a large um, a negative area 12 by 12 meters if you put my little thing on its doorstep my blueprint we calculate come on they will see you have almost none uh, around it and it goes back to six uh, meters and um, so that is my little trick for today um, instead of putting a lot of scenery around in around it like I did here you just put in this uh, little uh, you, yeah negative every what they call it negative influence cutter i have called it um, i will put it on the the steam if you want to um, download it or use it subscribe to it and you will get it in the game itself 
and in this way you just can put on a small building or group buildings together and uh, only put one in and you're done you have 50 percent bonus on the um, uh, reduced negative area instantly so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video um if you like it please give me a thumbs up and i hope to um, put on another video very soon with um, more tips and tricks bye bye